So I was talking to this guy today, and I told him I was a math teacher. And um, he came to me, he's like, man, I don't understand how you're a math teacher. He's like, I hated math, right? And usually everybody's like, man, what you know, what'd you hate about math? And he's like, fractions. I, I never got fractions. So then, of course, I started looking at this problem for homework, and I say, oh my god, what do we got? Fractions. Of course, probably half the kids hate this problem because of fractions. So what I say, you know what? Get rid of them. Stop using fractions then. So if here, whatever you do on one side, I'm going to do on the other side. So multiply everything times three. Well, guess what? This, I'm sorry, well, first of all, we need to find, we're finding the zeros, so that's going to be zero. So that goes to zero. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Therefore, I'm left with x squared plus x minus 2. All right, whenever you have a fraction, ladies and gentlemen, you can always multiply by that denominator as a new, like multiply by the reciprocal, right? 3 over 1, the reciprocal of that, you know, be, uh, um, you know, multiply it by your 3 over 1 on top, or it's like 1 over 3, and then pretty much what you guys get is they get to cancel out. That was a really bad explanation of what I just said. Um, let me try it maybe a different way. If you have your 3 on your bottom, right, a 3 divided by 3 is going to cancel out the 1. So if you multiply on the outside, you're going to have, you have to multiply that 3 times every single term because that's the surety property. So therefore, every single term is multiplied and divided by 3, so it, therefore it cancels out. Leave me left with x squared plus x minus 2. So now I just need to factor this. Well, this one's pretty easy. Hopefully, um, I'm going to factor this in my head. And I'll do a, let's see, I can pick an x minus 2. Nope. About an x plus 2 and an x minus 1. Does 2 times negative 1 give me a negative 2? Yes. Is 2 plus a negative 1 give me a positive 1? Yes. That works. So therefore, my 0 is equals x plus 2 equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0. Subtract the 2 on both sides. x equals a negative 2. x equals a positive 1. So therefore, these both are my zeros and they have a multiplicity of 1. There you go.